Billy's mom. I'm just curious. At what point in Billy's life are you going to cause him to develop an eating disorder? Because as a parent, I get very concerned when other parents are really misinformed about the connection between weight and health. Because newsflash, weight and health are not necessarily um, causational. <laughs> I sometimes wonder whether these people are just very, very dumb or just purposely ignorant. And most of the time I err on them being just purposely ignorant. Like they probably know the truth that they're just going to grift until they can't grift anymore because it's, the lucr it's lucrative for them. Or it's just lucrative in the sense of like it's easier to believe whatever they're believing than it is to believe the other thing. Because if they believe the other thing, then that just means that they have to do something about their life. And they don't probably want to do that because it takes a lot of work to change their life, especially when it comes to losing weight. Because everybody wants to eat. A lot of food. I want to eat a lot of food. You want to eat a lot of food. Well, maybe not necessarily me. I don't really care about eating necessarily. If I could literally take away eating and not suffer any of the consequences, I would do that. I think eating is irrelevant. But it's cool sometimes when there's a girl over and she goes, say you want to make me food? Okay, sure. We'll, we'll eat food together. But anyway, uh, let's, let's go to this comment. If you are finding it hard to find clothes that might fit you, uh, it might be time to prioritize your health. Yep. That is true. I don't even know why we're even talking about EDs right now when it comes to this stuff. What does that have to do with anything? You're literally purposely gaslighting this person or you're trying to reframe the argument to better suit whatever the fuck you believe because you know that it is the better choice to focus on your health. If you can't do something because of the size of your body, why would you ever expect the society around you to change rather than you just doing something for yourself? It's completely irrelevant. Uh, why the fuck would you even point out that this this person's child, like the implication of what you're saying is this, this person's child is going to suffer some type of malnourishment or some type of like bad parenting because the parent chooses to make better decisions. The parent chooses to put their health, their, to put their child's health before anything else. Where, where, what are we even talking about right now? What, where, where are you even getting this logic from? Uh, are you on the other side of that spectrum? Are you okay with having a child that develops a super, ama like, a, a omega level body because you're afraid to talk about what that could mean? What are you even talking about? If anything, you're actually the person. You're the villain in this situation. At least, uh, Billy's mom has got it going on. At least she is sitting here actually saying some truth. At least she's uh, uh, taking responsibility. At least she uh, has the ability to look inward and see what she can do in order to alleviate her, her, ch her ch Billy's problem. Or maybe Billy's not even a real person, but I don't know. Regardless of who I'm saying, uh, it doesn't matter. At least this person is ready and willing to take responsibility where you're just sitting here talking about, oh, your kid is going to get an ED. What the fuck are you talking about? Do you not think it's an ED on the other end? Do you not think that's what it is either? Like if your child is 450 turning into eight, tur go, 450 at, at 16, okay? High blood pressure before they even leave, before they even leave their teen years. That's terrible. That's not good either. That's both on the same spectrum. But anyway, this person has a point. So let's hear the point. When other parents are really misinformed about the connection between weight and health. One thing I love about this person is that even though they'll sit there and they'll say that they're, we're misinformed about something, they never really go into anything. They never give an example. They never reason out. They never tell you exactly what they're talking about because if they don't tell you what they're talking about, then they can leave it ambiguous and then they could just tell you whatever hogwash they have to say in a very ambiguous way. So that way you're just sitting there going like, wait, hold on. What the fuck did you just say? That's the whole point. They don't want you to know exactly what they're saying because if they tell you exactly what they're saying, then you can attack it. But if they're very ambiguous about it, then there's nothing to attack. It's too, it's It's like a... A shell almost, right? It's like a big ice wall that's like an inch deep, though. Because newsflash, weight and health are not necessarily, um... Not necessarily is also a very dismissive term. Causational. <laughs> are you a doctor? We're not going there. We're not going there. Are you a doctor? Come on, dude. I don't got to be a veterinarian to know what a cat is. I don't got to be... I don't got to be a doctor to know somebody's arm hanging off is not good for them, right? Just because I'm not a doctor and I can look at somebody that's obese and determine that that person that's obese is obviously unhealthy, I don't need to be a doctor to know that stuff, okay? In the same way that if I have a car and I see that my car is literally dragging its ass on the fucking floor, I don't need to be a mechanic to know that's wrong. I can, I can, I can deduce that using my critical thinking skills, my, my, my 
old mega level brain to figure out that that person walking down the street going like this, whenever they talk, they talk like Stevie from Malcolm in the Middle. <sighs> yeah, I think that my blood pressure is really high. That's what you, I don't need to be a doctor. I don't need to be a doctor to, to figure out any of that stuff. I can just look upon it, look at it and go, yep, that's unhealthy. That's not good. I don't need to be a doctor. You don't want to die in a cell. Trust me. Uh, you're not a doctor. Therefore, this whole argument is invalid. The, um, causational. <laughs> Are you a doctor? Do you have credentials Do that you? I should know about? Do you? Do you have credentials? About? More importantly, are are you my doctor? Do we need to talk into a realm of superiority? Um, this is completely irrelevant, especially given the fact that the person literally said, if you are struggling to find clothes, you should be reducing your weight so you can get into more clothes. And you're sitting here talking about some, are you a doctor? What does that have to do with anything? What are you talking about? Oh, are you trying to draw a correlation between somebody being so obese that they can't find clothes and they're relatively unhealthy compared to somebody that is not somebody that is not in that same body type that person being healthier are you saying that those two things like you need to be a doctor in order to determine that stuff are you retarded because i don't remember giving you any sort of like access to my health information well i looked at your stomach and i saw that and i was like <gasps> oh my god is big and then i saw it after i saw the crumbs falling off of it after i saw the 19 inch deep belly button and i saw the civilizations the people the growths the human beings that were inside of there growing entire structures i mean i think at this point they actually got a whole rail system which is beautiful by the way can you imagine that the whole beautiful rail system a whole civilization growing and uh i saw that and i thought probably not right probably not right to have people grown in your belly button probably not right to have a belly button deeper than most vaginas probably not right so i saw that right and i thought am i a doctor can i deduce whether or not this is unhealthy is it is it good to have literal people grown in your belly button have a, a a stomach that literally stretches out farther uh so when you walk into a room that's the first thing that you see instead of like i mean obviously the first thing you're gonna see is that stench that mm -hmm, because you know obviously fat people smell so you're gonna have that come in before anything and i thought am i qualified am i a person that can that can make this assumption that can that can use my deductive abilities to determine whether or not this person is unhealthy i thought about it for a whole one second i thought yeah what the fuck obviously yeah that person is literally dying that person is literally on death's door ringing god's doorbell ringing the the ring doorbell camera dude and you're waving to him that's obvious it's too obvious if you're that fat yes you're going to be suffering from a lot of consequences due to being fat so i don't need to be a doctor i have no idea why you would even bring up being a doctor i have no idea why you would even determine whether or not you could see somebody's health status by looking at them which you can by the way so not all the time by the way like if i you know you're not going to tell usually if somebody has like scoliosis for a lot of times unless their body's like this but you know what i'm saying but it's a dumb point the ama last year actually advised physicians to stop using the bmi because it's i don't care who advised who are doing what like just because somebody said hey um maybe we should stop doing this because it makes people it hurts people's feelings i don't care that's cool that you think that we should stop doing it but that's you know it's a pretty accurate health measure um it's not going to be completely accurate obviously there are going to be exceptions which is fine if you're the exception if you're a big muscle mommy and you weigh 200 pounds of pure beautiful hard just disgustingly beautiful muscle <clears throat> then it doesn't apply to you it's fine same thing for muscle daddies if you're a big man and you got a lot of muscle and you're tall and you got a lot of good bone structure on you giving me good bone structure especially when i see you looking like that then it's fine it doesn't apply to you but if it does apply to you don't sit there and try to act like it doesn't Okay, that's all we're gonna say. I don't care if somebody said something about like not using it because it hurts people's feelings. Suck me. They advised physicians to stop using the BMI because it's so misguided in being related to people's actual health. Well, okay, we don't we don't use the BMI, and then we just look at people, and I look at you, and just do the eye test. Okay, just do the eye test. Ready? I'm gonna open my eyes. I'm gonna look upon you, and I'm gonna deduce whether or not you're unhealthy. <gasps> oh. <clears throat> Yeah, you're unhealthy. Very unhealthy, by the way. Super ridiculously unhealthy. I, I'm looking at you right now. Uh, not you, the person watching the video, but you. You're very unhealthy. Super very ridiculously unhealthy. Your weight is an issue, 100%. If you don't think it's an issue, then you don't have to, but it is. It's like the purpose. It's like what this actually is. 
is you living in a dilapidated house. It's like slanted over like the house from Big Fish and it's falling apart and there's like squirrels and chickmunks and, and gazelles in the backyard and they're all trying to wait. They're waiting. They're, they're, dig they're digging holes in the side of the wall and you, instead of acknowledging it, what you're doing is going like this. Wow, my house is so beautiful on this one wall. Look at that painting. Wow, such a beautiful painting on this wall. Ha, huh, wow. Uh, everything else in this house, not relevant. This is what's relevant. That's what you're doing. You're purposely not looking at the problems. And instead what you're doing is, I don't know, you're just being purposely ignorant. You're just you're trying to find a reason to not have it be an, an issue. But it's only gonna, that you can only do that for a certain period of time. Eventually something's gonna break. Did you know that? Because if you were a doctor. I don't need to be a doctor. And by the way, you're not a doctor either. So therefore, you talking from a realm of superiority doesn't even make sense here. You're not a doctor either. So you saying this is completely irrelevant. You actually would know that. Okay, well, that's not how that works either. Just because somebody's a doctor doesn't mean they know random pieces of tidbit. Uh, t r random pieces of tidbits from like some far. Like, what are you even talking about? It's like somebody going like, oh, are you a mechanic? So you know about Star Wars Legos, right? What are you talking about, man? What, what do you fucking know? That's not how that works at all. Just because they're doctors doesn't mean they have some kind of like deep intrinsic knowledge about everything in the, in the doctor realm. It's not how that works at all. I've been to the doctors before and a lot of doctors are only familiar with things they, they're familiar with, right? Anyway. That's... Did you know that? Because if you were a doctor, you actually would know that. But you know that. So are you a doctor? Is that how that works? And this whole thing that people do where they like pretend to care about your health it's how, how can you even deduce that person is pretending to care about your health? They're literally saying that if you can't fit in clothes, that means that you're, you're unhealthy. Therefore, you should probably become more healthy in order to fit in clothes. And then the byproduct of that is becoming healthy. Why are you projecting so hard right now? It's just so that they can be... Uh, Colgate whitening strips. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, Anti-fat in public. And it's deemed acceptable because they're doing it under the guise of like caring about your health. Oh, I care about you so much, even though I'm a stranger. So you can care about somebody and be a stranger. Why? What is the implication of being a stranger? What? You don't actually. You just want to be able to like fat shame people in public. Un True. I do want to fat shame people and nothing's going to stop me to fat, fat shame people regardless. Uh, well, this is just me. I'm an incredibly judgmental person. It's actually occurred to me recently. A lot of people, I've talked to a lot of people uh, and I've had a lot of people tell me that I just bully them when I'm in conversations with them. They always go, oh my God, is this how you talk to everybody? And I go, what do you mean? you why are you acting like this like why are you so hostile why are you so mean i'm like i i, I don't think that i'm acting mean I, i'm pretty sure that's like is that not how regular people talk i guess i'm just really aggressive i guess i'm just a bully in conversations but my opinion on it is why are you a pussy <laughs> you know why are you acting like that dude it's not it shouldn't be that far-fetched right uh you know just just nut up a little bit uh show a little bit restraint I, if i'm talking to somebody and I say something to you and your response is to collapse like a pile of croutons because you can't handle, I don't know, me making a slight joke about how I think you look like you dress from Hot Topic or something like that, um, then you probably are not ready for regular conversations then. Or maybe I'm just really mean. I don't know. Um, but it's okay. For me personally, I'm gonna I'm a very judgmental person. I'm okay with that. Uh, I'm okay with fat shaming people. I'm okay with that. I see people walk down the street a lot. And I always, I, for me personally, I, this is one, one of my favorite things to do. If I'm with somebody else, I love just creating stories in my head. Like when we're walking together, I just see people in front of me and I just go, this person is doing this and I do voiceovers and I talk about their lives or we do random stuff. It's amazing, it's hilarious, it's fun. It's, it's one of my favorite things to do. I'm an asshole, I'm an asshole. Um, do I fat shame people? Yes, 100%, dude. Am I kind of sexist? Yep. Is there some racism in there? Probably, but it is what it is. Uh, that's just what, that's how most human beings um, have conversations and things like that. These, these people are absent when it comes to how normal human beings operate in society. Uh, fat shaming is normal, okay? Like casual racism is normal, right? Like joking, I mean, these are all jokes, 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 okay? And uh, sexism is all, it's all joking stuff. So uh, these people just take it a little bit too far and they wanna police everybody. I'm a stranger. You don't actually, you just wanna be able to like fat shame people in public under a way that's like deemed acceptable. You just hate fat people. You see Hilton gets I don't hate fat people. And this is like, that's a really weird way to cop out. So you're, so man, it's, it's actually kind of weird how these people have found a way to immediately dismiss everybody uh, that wants to help them or have any remotely, any, any advice remotely that will help them. They've somehow managed to put themselves in like this barrier, this shell, this echo chamber of, you don't actually care about me. Therefore, everything you're saying is invalid. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Also, Samira. I gotta keep it a buck. If you're gonna wear 
this particular type of outfit, this vest or whatever this is, and you're wearing deodorant underneath it, which is fine, by the way, I think deodorant is pretty good, you should probably wear deodorant that doesn't stick on white, okay? Like, maybe the clear deodorant, probably the, the deodorant that goes on and you, you just can't see it or whatever, because it's white, and I can see the white deodorant stains on your... I don't know what this is. Uh, I guess a vest. Um, it's not a bad vest. It's not. Uh, it's okay. Hair looking <laughs> quite good today. It's not always, but we're happy. We're there for it. We're here for it. She's in her hydrated, hydrated hair girl era. For a way that's like deemed acceptable. You just hate fat people. True. You see, Hilton gets it. Hilton. Hilton gets it. Hilton. Wait. 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 Ba ba. Uh, made in Pakistan. Cool. Uh, size six X, Amira. This is really yes, true. Hilton gets it. Hilton gets it because they make, I guess, giant. I don't even know what these things are called. Like shower shower robes in six X. Uh, did, did you have to ask for a six X? I I wouldn't be able to fit in this. It would be like dragging on the floor. I'd, I'd look like Gandalf the White in this. Ba 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 ba. Lose weight. Lose weight. It shouldn't be a thing. It just shouldn't be a thing, okay? You all need to talk about some Hilton gets it. Why is this even a thing you have to get? Okay, whatever. Let's talk about get some get some weight loss. Get get some calorie deficit. Get a little bit of that. Well, the backlash I get for being fat. I have been plus size my whole life. Sad. Really sad. <sighs> Go ahead. Always been a big bitch. So what makes you think the comments that people say about me? I haven't already thought about myself before. That doesn't matter. Like, just because you thought about those comments doesn't mean that I can't say those comments to you. It's called free speech. It's called I can think what I want. It's called I don't care what you have to say because I thought about this and I thought that you didn't think about this. Or maybe you already thought about this, but it doesn't matter because I thought about this and I want to tell you about this. I don't think about that way myself now, but definitely when I was younger. How are you commenting on my body is going to make a difference in my life? Sometimes people will say something and... It doesn't always register to that person in the moment because maybe they need more life experience. Maybe they haven't gone through something yet where that stuff's like, like, for instance, if you're talking to a child and you go, oh, your fish died. And then the, the kid goes, what do you be died? Like, what do you be like when I go home? Is the fish going to be in the toilet or like will he be, will he be at the blanket? What do you be he died? Because they don't understand what death means. Right. It takes a little bit of time. Uh, you have to get a little bit more mature. You have to go through stuff in your life and. When it does happen, then it finally registers to you, right? Holy shit, this person is gone forever. And it's, it's, it's an awakening, right? The same thing could be said for you. When you're younger, or maybe you're just at a different point in your life, things are not gonna fully register for you because they don't need to yet. They don't need to. You don't have a reason to register that stuff. And when you're younger, or maybe somebody says something to you at a certain point in time, you're like, whatever, this person is dumb, this person is ignorant, they don't know anything. But later on, when somebody says something to you, and maybe their, their opinion is more valuable to you. Like maybe your husband, wife, mom, family member, they say something to you. Maybe that opinion, even though it's the same opinion as somebody else had, maybe it's more valuable because they're saying it and you're in a different headspace. It doesn't. That's... <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. It was just like, because I just went on that big monologue and I thought that was pretty insightful, but then I just heard, and it doesn't. It's, I don't know, it just made me laugh. How are you commenting on my body is going to make a difference in my life? It doesn't, but I know the people who <laughs> That's definitely like one of the main reasons why this person is not going to do anything about it. Comments about my body or the things that I do or the things that I say are unhappy with their lives. That's not how that works at all. Um, you're putting yourself on the internet and you're doing things that are very, very, very extreme. So you're talking about, you know, cleanliness products. She's talking about how to wash yourself as a fat woman, how to live your life as a fat woman, how to, you know, buy certain products as a fat woman or whatever to, to make sure that you're fully, like if you're buying a seatbelt extender for the car or you're buying necklace extenders for the neck or whatever, dude, or you're trying to find different deodorants or, um, ways to stop the chafing in your legs when you walk. What you have to understand is like when you post this content to the internet, it's a very, very, uh, it's, it's, you're putting yourself out there, okay? There's no other way to say it than that. So when people comment on this stuff, they're seeing you doing all this extra stuff. You're going above and beyond to stay in this plus size body when you don't have to. This plus size body has literally, an, it has, has, has put major defects on you to the degree to where you have literally tried to enable it. Like you're, you're not only are you enabling it, but you're trying to stay within this body instead of doing the proper thing, which is just lose weight. So you don't have to buy the seatbelt extender. So you don't have to buy the extra two or three sticks of deodorant. So you don't have to buy the FPS 
500 so that way you can have like a, in the, the giant vats too so that way you, you have enough for the whole entire month instead of just buying the regular amount because you have so much surface area across your skin um instead of like doing the thing that's actually going to benefit you you're enabling it and that's fine if you want to stay in that body but you have to understand that you're posting on the internet you're not just somebody on you're just not, you're not somebody that's walking around on the street you don't know about um you're not just like a regular person you're posting on the internet you want people to watch this you want people to interact with this you want people to say things to you and now some of that stuff is going to be things you don't want to hear and that's fine right but that's where it comes from you're saying a whole bunch of stuff on the internet and sometimes that stuff is going to have responses right obviously you bully other people because you're unhappy with your own life. She's projecting while telling everybody else that they're projecting. And it's so pathetic. I would love to have a conversation with like any of these people, dude. It's it's really interesting how these people have a way to dismiss all of somebody's. They can literally find somebody that has the best advice ever. And they'll literally find a way to dismiss it. Because they'll just deduce that you're insecure or you're projecting or your life sucks. Or you don't actually care about them or you're just a bad person. When the reality of the situation is most of the people that are commenting, sure, they might be assholes. But like there's probably, a tr there's probably truth to like mainly most of it, right? And the fact that you think I care. You do care. You're making a whole response video about it. You care. You care OD, matter of fact. And that's okay to care. It's okay to care. And it's so pathetic. And the fact that you think I care about, oh, you're fat. Oh, you're a whale. Why don't you go lose weight? A whale is, uh, we got to come up with better terminologies, dude. What are some other big creatures upon the earth that a lot of people can look at and go, wow, that's a big creature. I couldn't say hip hop, a uh, hip hop apotamus because, uh, they're, they're, they're actually surprisingly, even though they're a lot, like they're really thick. Um, surprisingly, they're not fat. They're not fat at all. They just have really, really thick hides and they move pretty fast. Like I've watched videos of them fucking up giraffes. And, uh, dude, it's fucking crazy. <laughs> dude, hippo versus giraffe? Crazy as hell, bro. I used to watch those videos a lot when I was growing up. I used to really like watching uh, bug versus bugs on YouTube way back in the day. They don't do it anymore because I don't know if that, like, you know, maybe that's, like, animal abuse or something like that. But back in early YouTube, there used to be, like, spider versus scorpion or scorpion versus water bug. Water bug versus cockroach, right? And uh, I got to let you guys know something right now. Water bugs are very overpowered. They're literally the most overpowered insect I've ever seen in my life. They can literally OTK most other animals. Um, even some animals that are not even like bugs. Like some things that are like, you know, like a squirrel maybe. Um, I've seen them. I've seen them body slam shit. Also, seagulls. Sorry, not seagulls. Yeah, seagulls. Seagulls eat rabbits consistently. They eat people too sometimes um, if they can find an opportunity to do so. Uh, they also... Are crazy. I saw a video here where I live, downtown Boston. There was a seagull that literally broke a pigeon's neck and ate him. And uh, you know what? There's multiple videos of it too. Like, as in, like, there he has done it multiple times. Crazy as fuck. But anyway, I don't even know what we're talking about right now. And it just annoys people. I've gotten a lot of backlash from the videos that I've been making because people in general, or let me rephrase that. Skinnier people don't like the things that I have to say. I think most, okay, we got to stop doing this, okay? Because most fat people do not want to be fat. Can we just say that right now? Most fat people do not want to be fat. So if you're sitting here trying to say that thin people are the reason why they, they, they don't like your comp, no. It's a lot of fat people as well, okay? Uh, you're in a very niche community where uh, maybe there are a few fat, fat people that do like what you're saying, but in general, no. 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 The majority of the plus size community. Yeah, don't say it. Don't. You're not going to. That's not true. The majority of the plus size community does not want to be fat. That I've been reaching out to agrees. That's not how that works at all. You're literally lying right now. So it just proves my point that would. Oh, OK, wait, hold on. The majority of the plus size people that I've reached out to the most ambiguous on top of ambiguous wording. Never mind. You're right. I'm saying is right. But the people who <sighs> agrees. So it just proves my point that what I'm saying is right. That's not how that works at all. So hold on. You're saying you know some people that you think... Hold on. <laughs> so wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. So you're saying you know some people that agree with you. Therefore, you're right. You know what? I just realized something, Colleen. I know some people that think that I'm right. So I guess I'm right. Wow. Can you believe that? I guess I'm just right about everything. Do you see how dumb that shit is? But the people who comment nasty comments get annoyed because you can't see their comment because I have all my comments monitored by someone. 
And that means your comment isn't seen by other people that you want to call me a nasty whale. Are you open to criticism at all? Or, like, are you open to having people actually, like, disagree with you? Or, uh, no? So I'm, I'm going to reach out to this person after this video. I'm going to see if they're down for a conversation. If you think that I'm going to stop making videos about plus-size hygiene, the things that we go through... The th nobody, nobody cares that you're making videos about plus-size hygiene. Most of the people that are commenting the things that they're commenting are probably saying that stuff because it's, like, it's an oddity. It's, it's weird, okay? That's probably the reason. Like, you can go and keep posting your videos. Like, it's fine. Things that I have been through, or any series that I make about being plus-size, you are so fucking wrong. My page is the hero we needed, not the one we deserved. Her Rosa Park moments is literally her sitting down in her car telling people that she's going to continue to make videos about plus size hygiene. Good shit. You got it. It's a safe place for plus size people or people. I got to let you guys know something, okay? The If you want to get over your fears, if you want to transcend your fears, what do people always say? They always say, if you're afraid of heights, go on a high place and confront your fears. If you're afraid of snakes, go to a zoo, confront your fears. If you're scared of swimming, swim. You know, put yourself in the water. Let the water touch your skin. Embrace it. Confront your fears. Not put yourself in an environment where nobody else can say anything bad to you because if they do, you're just going to, like, crumble. You're just going to destroy. You're just going to melt like the Wicked Witch of the West because the rain, the water itself is everybody else. It's fine that you have your own environment, right? I go to particular YouTubers that talk about particular things. Like, for instance, I watch Dragon Ball YouTubers. I watch, I watch uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! YouTubers, Star Wars YouTubers. That's different. What you're actually saying right now is that you are negating entire, like, demographics of people that disagree with you because you don't like what they're having to say. That's very very crazy and then you're sitting here and you think that you're strong for that that's weakness that is straight up weakness okay whatever people who have been through the things that i have been through like what like not being able to wipe efficiently uh not being able to get out of a seated position in a timely manner uh having a problem getting off of the floor a uh, cursing at god because gravity like i don't know like what are you talking about man you don't exactly have to be plus size to experience the things that i've gone through okay like what is it though and talk about okay. but i won't sit here and take anyone's backlash because honey I sometimes you need to take backlash though like if you say something that's dumb or whatever sometimes you take backlash for no reason then the other didn't just take backlash right like when i got all that backlash from the samira video it is what it is like it's the nature of the internet even though i didn't say anything ridiculous or crazy you take backlash it is what it is a lot of people have fan bases that are just um that are gonna dogpile that people just don't really uh, know any better it's just people hear the um the marching orders and they they just do it right a lot of people also they a lot of okay a lot of people don't understand this but a lot of human beings most human beings are not truth seeking human beings human beings in general are not truth seeking most human beings are trying to reconfirm their own biases consistently every single day so they're just going to their people that they like and they're watching those videos of whatever they're talking about so like for instance i like vegeto over gogeta i'm not saying gogeta is not bad i'm not saying goji is bad or anything like that i personally like vegeto more okay so what am i doing i'm watching videos that talk about how vegeto is just cooler or better or stronger compared to gogeta in this case you're watching people that are reconfirming your biases of fat people are fine being fat is awesome being fat is great being fat is awesome and you're not looking for the other things and whenever you hear people talk about like arguments on this stuff they don't know the other side because they never invest the other they never invest the skill points into finding out what their what the kind of arguments are because they don't want to um it's not beneficial for them it's beneficial for them to go to these channels get their marching orders close the screen and then go on without their day because that's more valuable for them they don't need to learn anything more because they already know everything that they know and they they never they're never going to be put in a position to where they're ever going to be tested on that because they're never in a position to be tested on that. They're in they're in these environments. They're in these echo chambers where they're just hearing yes queen, yes queen, yes queen consistently over and over and over again, which is really really terrible because if anybody questions you on what you actually believe, you do this. You just you monitor your comments, you put yourself in a bracket to where nobody can say anything to you in general, uh, and you are you shut down, or you just like gaslight people into thinking that you're right, even though you like there's some bullshit ass logic, which is like, oh yeah, I know people that agree with me, therefore I'm right, which is like the most backwards logic I've ever heard in my life. Like, oh yeah, Adolf Hitler, he definitely had a whole bunch of people around him telling him that he was right, so therefore I'm guessing right, he was right too, right? What are you talking about? Such a dumb stream of arguments. I've thought about those things about myself, and I'm still fucking here. And I'm not going anywhere. Nobody cares. You're fine. Go ahead. Stay, stay on TikTok. You're fine.
Have you tried not eating so much? True. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> If you haven't done it successfully then like it's always easier to eat less than it is to work out because if you can eat like if you have a muffin in front of you and that muffin is 300 400 calories uh or you could take a walk for an hour and burn that same calories it's always going to be better to just not eat that muffin and then it is going to be to walk because most people don't want to walk compared to not eat the muffin right you get what i'm talking about as a fat skinny people truly say the most interesting damn things okay it's not just skinny people. It's also uh, fat people too. Fat people that are losing weight will tell you the same thing. It's not hard. It's diet and exercise. I don't know why you think that it's incapable of fat people to say this as well. It's actually pretty fucked up to say that. that I've ever heard. Like, girl, come on. Saying to somebody, why don't you change your entire self? It's not change your entire self. Like, Jesus Christ. If you define your poor eating habits as your entire, if, as your entire self, that's actually super telling. That's actually, like, she just literally told us that it, she defines herself by her poor eating habits. So that people treat you better is kind of crazy. What the fuck do you want? We live in a society where we have to appease other people, right? So, like, if you're not valuable to somebody else, what the fuck value do you have to that person? Like, I, I, I get what you're saying, but, like, what do you want, bro? If you think about it, like, no, that's... I thought about it. Just an have you thought about it? Have you thought about how if you're fatter, people are not going to find you as desirable? So that's going to be harder for you to get, uh, let's say, for instance, a boyfriend, girlfriend. Most people are not attracted to people that are overweight. It's going to be harder for you to get a job because you may not be able to do that job efficiently because you're too fat to get up out of the, the, the seat or whatever. Um, it might impede your ability to get medical treatment because you're too fat. We're not going to be able to perform the surgery. If we put you under anesthesia, you might literally die. There's a whole bunch of stuff there that's going to impede your ability. But you sitting there talking about some only thin people say this. Come on, get, 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 get your head out of your ass, bro. Better is kind of crazy if you think about it. Like that's just- Also, I don't like the way she says that. It's actually kind of crazy if you think about it. Why is everything ended? Like, what are you capitalizing everything at the end of every sentence? And then you're putting your, like, if you think about it, and there's a question mark right at the end. Why? Why are you putting a question mark at the end of a statement? What are you doing? Why do you talk like this? It's an insane. Super condescending, by the way. What is this, like, valley girl speak? I don't like it. I don't like it. Speak faster. Thing to say. People like this is why I always people like this is say that I actually think that explaining fat phobia is potentially worse than receiving fat phobia because it's so difficult to explain to people and because people have less tolerance for fat people, which if you're skinny and you don't think you do, I promise subconsciously it's probably a thing. So tiring to try to explain to somebody that like people are being fat phobic towards you or just a situation, whatever the case may be. Because when you are met with the response of, why don't you just like not eat that much? It just makes you not want to explain it to anyone. Because you don't have to explain it to anybody, it's fine. But you do understand that that would be the solution, right? Like if you, I don't know, let's say for instance, you had a, like a big gash on your leg and you were just living with it and somebody was like, hey, why don't you just like go to the hospital? And you're just sitting there like, I don't want to explain it because it's too much to explain. You don't have to, but that would be the solution, right? The same thing here. Like if you're fat and you're obese and you're suffering from all the negative effects of obesity and the solution is quite literally just eat less. Why aren't you doing that? That's fine that you don't want to explain it, but that is the solution. You're just like... I know that you're trying to like conflate it. You're trying to make it seem like it's a lot bigger deal than it actually is. Like, oh, if I lose weight, that's all I'm going to get from that is people treating me better. And like, I don't want to be treated better because I'm thinner. I understand what you're saying, but that's fucking stupid. Like, can you imagine somebody literally saying, I don't want to lose weight because if I lose weight, my life will get better. And I don't like that because I should be treated better regardless of who I am. What are you talking about right now? Like, are you stupid? Like, what, what, you're literally talking about how your life can improve and you're just not doing that. I don't understand how people don't get it. And I don't understand how people say- I don't understand how you can still be fat after years and years of saying the same shit. Being like lose weight as a suggestion to stop fat phobia, like makes any sense whatsoever. So this is how it makes sense again. Okay? So if you're experiencing fat phobia, which to you apparently is, I am not being able to find clothes, can't fit in an airplane seat. I'm not gonna be able to get out of a seated position in a short period of time. Um, doctors tell me that I'm obese. These are fat phobic, right? And if you lose weight and you get into a healthier body size, you will no longer be experiencing that stuff. Therefore, you have solved fat phobia for yourself. You have no longer experienced this quote unquote fat phobia. So that's how you solve it. Can you believe that? You have cured yourself of it. How about we stop fucking bullying people? Well, there's a difference between bullying somebody and telling them what, would you consider a doctor 
telling your cat, let's say for instance, you're at a vet, would you consider a doctor telling you that your cat is obese and its quality of life is quite impeded because the fact that that, that cat is very, very obese and it's not gonna be able to walk around or run around and jump and do the things that the cats are gonna do, uh, would you consider that doctor to be fat phobic? Would you consider that? Would you consider that a doctor telling you that your arm is literally hanging off and that's actually a detriment to your life? Would you consider that to be a negative thing from that doctor? Like he's just biased? No, you wouldn't. So when you say like bullying, I'm gonna need to know exactly what you mean by bullying. Would you consider that the doctor telling you that your arm is hanging off is a bad thing is a bullying because you don't determine that to be a bad thing? Would you consider a, a veterinarian telling you that your cat is obese and it's not gonna be able to run around uh, bullying because they're telling you that your cat is obese and it can't run? No, you wouldn't. So I would love to know what you mean by that. Maybe not. Uh, Give an example. You, you can't just you can't just say you can't just say it's bullying and then just leave it there. Obviously, ninety percent of the reason I want to lose weight is because I don't like the way that I am perceived by people. Like I. What about the weight though? Like the health of? Okay, whatever, bro. No, whatever I, reason it is, it's fine. Not change the fact that people are fat phobic that will always be inherently there True. but like to blame the fat people for other people's actions towards them is just kind of crazy i'm not blaming okay first of all i don't think anybody's if somebody says that you're a fat or like says that you're a whale or that you're big as fuck and you're massive and like you breathe too hard and stuff like that because you're fat i'm not blaming you for that i'm not but uh, what i am saying is that you wouldn't be experiencing that stuff if you weren't in those categories so See. people's intentions are not always like necessarily malice there's nothing more frustrating to me than when i'm like with my friends or something and a group of men will like come up to us and they will literally introduce themselves to all of my friends but not me <laughs> i think that is so weird and when i call it out i'd be like yeah it's because i'm fat i don't think this is because my friends like are you know denying my feelings i guess but like i'll be like oh yeah it's because i'm fat and they'll be like no like no no way like he's just you're, i don't want to be your friend like you sound like a bad friend bro every time we go out guys don't approach you and you're such a fucking pick me about it you have to call it out oh it's because i'm fat who are you stop they stop being fat how many times have we gone out with this has been a thing fucking jessica my bad michelle michelle whatever her name is michelle can you please just lose weight so menses will keep approaching us and then maybe you get some interaction too why are you so insecure about this shit lose some weight dude jesus christ get into the pool with the rest of us you're not unique you're not special if you want menses if you want a hashtag boyfriend and it girl treatment or pretty girl treatment or princess treatment whatever you want to call it then lose weight get more options i'm sorry that you're fat and nobody wants to date you why do you why why should i you're sitting here and you're saying we should we're oh we're i'm being fat and other people are saying mean things to me and i'm being i'm being blamed for that you're fat and you're not getting interactions and you're blaming yourself why don't you just lose weight why don't you just lose weight then why are you fat as fuck if that was the case loser whatever like they'll you know try to make me feel better about it but it's just matter of the fucking facts like at how, many this how many times have you had this conversation with your friends wait I don't know. I think if you're fat, you know, like when someone's treating you differently because of your size, Lose certain weight. men will literally look through you. And it's a crazy experience okay. and kind of nice to be invisible to men sometimes because obviously men can be creepy as fuck. It's honestly insane. Like, it's such a weird experience that I don't think is explainable unless you've experienced it. My favorite thing that skinny people do to me as a fat is put their blind trust in me. I don't know why y'all do this. I literally don't get it because I am the number one yapper. Like, if you tell me your secret, my mom already knows and the group chat already knows, you okay. know? Tr untrustworthy person. I hope our friends are watching. Um, I mean, unless you really tell me not to, but I swear. And you know what's really interesting, too, is like, doesn't that disqualify you from everything you're saying right now? I don't know. Strangers love to come up to me and just be like, I just feel like I can tell you anything. All right. Like, go ahead, girl. But like. Why am I just naturally trustworthy because I'm fat? I'm going to miss that. I, I don't know if this is because you're fat, dude. I just think that, okay, whatever, dude. I am going to miss that because I like getting the tea. And that's going to suck. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. I hope everybody enjoyed today's video. I'd appreciate if everybody could like the video, subscribe to the video, um, share the video, all that stuff. I'd appreciate tremendously. Thank you so much for supporting me in any way that you possibly can. You're amazing. You're beautiful. You're spectacular. Uh, if you watch the video in its entirety, and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in potato. Potato, because they're beautiful. My life is potato. 
beautiful amazing ground apples they're just they're so amazing they smell good sometimes depending on how you season them up even just regular potatoes are pretty good you put them in the microwave maybe or you boil them or you throw them in the oven or maybe even an air fryer whatever you want to cook them dude they always come out good tasty delectable sometimes you put a little bit of butter in there a little bit of cheese season them up a little bit kind of like how you're so seasoned kind of like how you're so mm, flavored up you smell like a good potato right now i love the way that your eyebrows are shaped mm. tell me about your seasoning tell me about all that delectable seasoning you got on your body i love it I think it's amazing. I think you smell good. I think you are good. I think you're a responsible individual. Good shit on drinking that water. Anyway, if you want to check out my socials, it'll be linked down below in the description. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. 